Welcome to part 2 of Source Engine Modding. I am Funril and today I'll teach you the process of porting models. For a total beginner I would recommend trying to port a model that already is in the Source Engine, because a lot of time will be saved since you already have an armature and textures done for it. But before I begin with this tutorial I'll have to ask you to not release your first mod to the public. Not because I don't want you to release anything, but because the first mod will always be filled with errors. Think of the first few mods as the learning stage. We'll have to get used to Blender, figure out how it works, and etc. In my tutorials I will be using Blender with an SMD plugin. It is free and easy to use. Download link for both will be in the description. Now let's get started. If your custom model has an armature, you should make use of that. It would make this a lot easier. The first thing you want to do is to open Blender and open the original model you want to replace. In the last tutorial I decompiled this helicopter pilot. Now since he is lying down I don't like it, so I select the whole thing and rotate it into a standing position. Now that that's done, I can delete the armature. Oops. I can delete the armature because I want the new armature to pose my custom model according to what this model looks like. I have decompiled a Vietnam pilot from Gary's mod and it has a lot of body groups. You can only import one SMD at a time. But, when you have the QC file, the QC file when it's selected as importing, it will read every single SMD file inside it and import those as well. Now you can import the QC file. And now I have a custom armature and all the model parts. Now when you have many body groups, you have to delete whatever you don't want. So now I have only the stuff that I want to have. And now if you want, you can select everything that you have. Press Ctrl and J to merge it or join if you will. Now the next step is rotating and posing the custom model so it fits the original one. For that you have to have the original model enabled and you only use the armature on the custom model. You select everything. When you press G you can move it around. R is rotating. And you can also press C, Y and X to snap it to a axis. For example, up, down, forward, backward and left, right. So, now the model is posed so it looks almost like the original model. Now what you want to do is to go to your custom model Click on this little wrench icon over here and apply the armature modifier. This will snap the model to whatever pose it is right now and freeze it like a statue. But I am having an error because this model has shape keys. This is the face flexes. This model is not going to use this at all when it's done in the game. So I can delete everything. Go back and apply the modifier. Now the model is basically saved like that and I can delete the armature. So, now I have a custom model that looks like the original one and the original model. Now I can delete the original model for now and re-import it so that the armature comes with it again.
Now I have to rig this custom armature to the original bones. Since this is source engine, most of the bones already have the correct name. You can see here I want to pose the original model. If I rotate the bones, the arm will move as well. And now if I apply my custom model to that armature, if I'm lucky, I can use this right away. Almost. The fingers and wrists are messed up. Yes, the finger and wrists are the only thing that are messed up. This custom model has for every finger a separate bone. But this model only has bones for the thumb, the index finger and the middle finger. So I'll just rig everything to those three bones and I'm practically done with this. You want to go to the edit mode. Click this little icon over here and go to vertex groups. We want to modify the right hand. So we search for wealth, bipped hand or whatever. Left bipped our hand is the right hand. If you press the select button, it selects everything is at all weighted to this bone. And we have the fingers over here, finger 4 1. And every other finger that is beyond the middle finger has to be rigged to that bone. So, now I re-rigged my custom model to the original armature and everything looks like it should. There's still something you'll have to do, and that is the smoothing. Everything right now is smooth, but there are some things that require hard edges to look like it should. For this, you go to your wrench icon, add a modifier called Edge Split. You could activate Edge Angle which is going to automatically select everything and make it hard. But for a player model like this, since most things are cloth or skin, they should be smooth. So you only select sharp edges. Like I want to select this part of the helmet. Press Ctrl E, make sharp. Now it, this one line that I selected is sharp. And you'll have to do this on the entire model. Okay, after about 20 minutes I've done all the smoothing I wanted to do. The only thing that we have to do now is to export this model. For this you can go to this little icon. It is the scene display. And scroll down. Here you have the source engine export menu. You want to export as an SMD. And the export path should be wherever your QC file is. You can also rename the model if you want. And now export it. That's about everything you need to know about porting models. The next tutorial will be about compiling this model and use it in game. I hope this tutorial provided itself useful for you. I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my tutorials or mods. Mr. Finery signing out.